What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And this one I want to break down what's going on with the Tesla Spy Infinity, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm gonna talk about some very important levels to be watching for how spy is looking alongside the other charts out there. What the data was suggesting, we suggest saw the non-farm payrolls data and the un unemployment rate come out, and all this could affect the market moving forward. But before I bring anything down, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to six free stocks. If you deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks. And putting in $25,000 or more guarantees you 70 free stocks plus 12 months of level two data. This offer ends in just 10 days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market thus far. On SPY, we actually saw this thing drop and pop back up after we got the unemployment data. And we're a little bit red during the pre-market for most stocks out there. So we watch and see how SPY and these different stocks react to the resistance levels that we happen to be at. Uh, what happened with the data, I just want to call out that non-farm payrolls were at 199,000. Uh, once again, the forecast was 160,000, so this was a little bit hotter than expected. The unemployment rate was kind of weak. We saw, I'm sorry, it was kind of strong, excuse me, guys. It was 3.7% technically. Uh, this suggests that the jobs numbers are still looking kind of strong and the unemployment has dropped. And this is, once again, this caused the market to drop because the Fed is looking for contraction in the labor market to cause uh, the market to shift. Um, right now, the unemployment rate is looking very low. And this is showing that the job sector is still showing some strength. And looking at this, the uh, everything else is very close to expectations. Uh, at 10 o'clock a.m., watch for more volatility as we have the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report. And we'll see if this causes anything else to change. But besides that, those are the main pieces of data for now. On top of this, I just want to mention that we have over a million puts expiring on SPY, of course. Max pain's at 451, and we'll see if we end up getting a drop or not. SPY is at resistance. Max pain's at 451, so the market makers will benefit either way, whether there's, there's a small drop or not, or if the market holds up. But I still think that the market's at supply, and there could be a risk of downside by Monday. So just be very, very careful with that. Look at the market this far. Stocks have a kind of rocky start to December if you want to go that route. But there is still potential upside once we have CPI coming out, in my opinion. So we'll be watching that very carefully. Uh, with all the jobs numbers coming out, private payrolls, jobless claims, and et cetera, and all this coming out, non-farm payrolls are still showing some strength. This is once again showing declining unemployment, which is surprising to a lot of people out there. Uh, there's other things going on with open AI. We're starting to look at open initial reviews of Microsoft's investments into chat GPT. And we're going to continue to see more uh, things going on with the watchdogs. So that's some important stuff right now. And now Amazon is testing prime exclusive grocery subscriptions in the latest uh, blending of its logistics empire. This is once again, good news for them as they're once again, trying and kind of like trying out these different delivery services. And it looks very interesting thus far. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for data affecting the markets, what we're seeing when it comes to uh, the different levels. So what do I see for SPY basically? SPY is holding up watch resistance at 458. Uh, also at 459, we have some tight resistance. So watch and see how it reacts to these levels. If we break above 459, 460 is going to be our next resistance. It's to be really bullish. You want to see it close or at least break 460. If you're bearish, you want to see it kind of like push up to this resistance. And just know that historically, between 458 and also 459 for the most part, we tend to see a lot of rejections on SPY. So it might get like a little pop and then drop back down. It might actually downtrend just a little bit and make its way down towards this orange trend line by Monday. There is a risk of that potentially happening as SPY is... Uh, once again, still getting rejected off this 458 area, a little sell off. So it could hold up like today and then kind of like sell off by Monday before we get a big move on Tuesday after CPI comes out. So I just wanted to warn you about that. We're at supply on SPY, so watch resistance. I will turn bullish if we manage to break and hold 460, but so far SPY is not really doing that. It's kind of like rejecting and failing to do so. So we'll be watching to see if we end up breaking down. If we break down, watch 457 as support. That's where our 20 EMA happens to be. Below that, if we lose that, watch 456.5, 455.35 at the 4-hour 50 EMA. That's where we have some nice supports. And if we lose this, it's going to come down to fill its gap. I do want to warn you guys that technically, SPY does have a gap below that's still unfilled. 
is actually, let me show you it on the 30 minutes time frame right here. So if we do end up losing the support right here at 457 and we fail to hold that, there's a gap down here to 455. So just be a little careful, guys. I just want to warn you about that. And there's a risk of that potentially getting filled. On Tesla now, let's talk about Tesla. Tesla, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, guys. Tesla's looking quite decent thus far, holding its 30 minutes 200 EMA, barely at this 240 area. I was warning you all that Tesla might see some like kind of rocky price action. Uh, as of right now, it, it kind of popped during the pre-market. So I was talking about a pop that was coming, now it's dropping. I think it might do the same thing again, where it kind of like pops when we open. It might try to retest like 242 to 244, reject and make its way back down. If it loses 240, watch this 238 support, very close to where our yellow trend line happens to be. The yellow trend line is where we have the support. And I think Tesla might try to hold that and then try to bounce later on. So watch for a back test of 238 or so. If we lose that, it could go a little lower towards like 236. Even if we do break a little below it, we need to see it get bought back up by Monday and it could still be fine. I think that Tesla's looking a little weak. So look for a pop and drop. And we'll just see how it goes from there. Watch 238 and then 236 is our supports. Watch resistance at 242. And if we break that, there's 244 and then 246. I think a pop and drop is very probable. So look for a test of the yellow trend line. I think it's most likely going to hold up quite decently. On NVIDIA, as I mentioned, guys, NVIDIA could, it had this like rising wedge like pattern that was developing. We got a breakout, now we're kind of like rejecting. If we're bullish, you want to see it try to get back above 472. If we're bearish, you want to see it lose 462. Looks like it might pop again towards 468 and reject and slowly downtrend back down to 457. I see a risk of that on NVIDIA when it comes to something else such as uh, Apple. This is also looking uh, kind of flat right now. It's not looking too weak, not too strong. I was talking about this thing potentially downtrending a little bit. If we're bearish, you want to see Apple lose 193.5. If we lose this, it's going to start sinking towards the 192s. If we're bullish, you want to see it break 194.4 and make its way back up to 195 and break that. We're just in the middle right now, so watch this 194 zone. If we lose that support, 193.5 is next and then lower levels. So we're going to be watching that very carefully to see if we get this break to the downside. As of right now, Apple's very flat, not really doing much. But we'll see if Apple ends up rejecting and losing 193.5. There's a risk of that happening. So it might actually downtrend just a bit. This could slow the market down. So just be very careful and watch Apple just to be safe. Last but not least on the QQQ, we got this rejection on the QQQ off our 391 area. Look for a rebound towards this imbalance at 390. See if they grab liquidity here and then we'll see if it rejects. If it does reject, we're going to be looking for a move back down to 386 if we lose 388. So watch support and don't forget we have a gap down here. We could see this. We could see uh, the QQQ downtrend a little bit. There's a risk of some downside, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm super bearish because we're still in a range. We're still above our 383 support. So we could see just downtrend just a bit and bounce later on. It is looking a little bearish. So watch support. Watch resistance at 390 and 391. It looks like it might cool off for the time being. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for the people out there who are interested in learning and looking at their different charts. Make sure you watch support and see if it holds on SPY and the QQQ. And with that being said, guys, uh, a little pullback would be completely fine. We could just retest the orange trend line by Monday, then try to bounce and look for a bigger move on Tuesday. The real move is going to happen on Tuesday. Just wanted to warn you about that, and we'll be watching our levels very, very carefully. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys very soon later on. Have a great day. Take care. Watch your levels. Be patient. And just know what I warned you guys about. Uh, the market to the moon because the long term is still very bright, despite the short term pullback. And peace out.